Today in the Daily Dose, Joan of Arc. After English King Henry V became ruler of both England and France, following a 1420 English victory and peace treaty during the Hundred Years' War, at age 13, French peasant Joan of Arc began hearing voices from God that told her to push English invaders out of her homeland. Before reinstating deposed Crown Prince Charles of Valois to the throne, when her father insisted on an arranged marriage for his 16-year-old illiterate daughter, Joan convinced a local magistrate that her vow of chastity and her instructions from God disqualified her for marriage. At last cleared to travel, Joan rode to the nearby city of Vaucouleurs, a stronghold of French resistance to English rule. Where she tirelessly promoted her claims of divine instruction regarding French independence, at last gaining approval to make the 11-day journey to the Crown Prince's palace at Chinon, cropping her hair and dressing in men's clothing, Joan's continued persistence landed a meeting with the Crown Prince, where, despite her complete lack of military training, she convinced the would-be king to let her lead a French offensive against English forces. Laying siege to the city of Orléans, dressed in white armor and riding atop a massive white steed, Joan led a series of French assaults on English choke points around Orléans, forcing the Anglo-Burgundians to retreat across the Loire River. As her reputation grew amongst French nobility and French military leaders, Joan and Charles drove the British out of Reims, which led to his coronation as King Charles VII. On July 17, 1429, in the spring of 1430, at the new king's behest, Joan attacked English forces at Compiègne, where she was thrown from her horse and taken prisoner by the British. Convicted of witchcraft, heresy, and dressing as a man, after King Charles made no effort to save her life, in May of 1431, Joan signed a confession denying any divine guidance from God. On the morning of May 30th of that same year, Joan was burned at the stake in the old marketplace of Rouen at the still tender age of 19. Death did little to dampen her fame when, 20 years later, Charles VII ordered a new trial to clear her name. While in 1909, Joan was beatified by Pope Pius X, followed by her canonization by Pope Benedict XV in 1920. Making the life and divine visions of Joan of Arc the patron saint of France, and there you have it, Joan of Arc. Today in the Daily Dose. If you enjoyed this short educational video, consider giving the filmmakers a YouTube super thanks from as little as a dollar, so that you too can feed the filmmakers who feed your brain.